Hey, it's Lindsay, and I'm back to share with you my experience with my second session of rolfing. Uh, this video blog is basically a 12-part series to share with you my reactions and um, basically my experience with the whole rolfing experience, which will be at least 12 sessions long with my rolfer who's doing KMI. And this session, session two, was focusing on the superficial back line. Uh, session one was about the superficial front line, and the last video was about my um, experience with that. And I overall had a pretty mellow time with that first session. I mean, it felt really great, and I definitely felt myself opening up and definitely felt things shifting, but it was overall pretty mellow for me. Um, this second one, not so much, was very intense, uh, at least relative to the first. It worked along my entire back line of the body, so started at my feet, worked up through the legs, hips, and up through my back all the way to my uh, neck and head. So the superficial back line, I believe, was very intense for me because I tend to be more of a natural backbender, which means my front tends to be fairly relatively open. Um, my forward folds are not as strong when I wake up in the morning. Those are much more challenging for me than, than a small back bend. Um, and that would make sense why this session was so intense because we were working all up the backside of my body, which is the tighter of the two. So this session felt really great. I tend to really like that deep tissue type massage, that kind of painful in a good way type of body work. Uh, and that's definitely what this was, and not always painful in a good way. It was definitely uncomfortable to a point a couple times where I stopped talking because I was just breathing through this sensation. Um, let me just tell you a little bit about what I experienced in the second session. Um, it's a bit more vivid in my mind because of the intensity than the first session was. Uh, the first thing he did was did a little bit of bunion work on my feet, which is specific to my issues, um, and I requested him do that. However, the back session begins in the feet anyway, so um, he also did a lot of work in base. I mean, I don't know the technical terms for all the areas of the body, but did a lot of work in my arches and my heels, um, ankles to begin with. There was some very intense work um, with some... I don't know, balls or blockages he found in the bottom of my feet, maybe points in which they're trying to compensate for the weaker areas of my foot. Those, those spots were very, very intense for me. Working deep into that heel, basically the structure of my entire frame, I realized that no one has ever gone in there in that part of my body before. Um, I've had tons and tons of deep tissue massage, and I have great experiences with that. I love that type of treatment. However, I don't necessarily always experience it lasting really long term for me. So feeling him go that deep into my structure was pretty cool um, and also very uncomfortable. Uh, once we finished uh, with the bottom of my feet, uh, he had me flip over to my stomach basically and did most of the rest of the work while I was laying face down. Uh, he did a lot of work in the ankle, heel, um, lower calf shin region, which was super intense for me. It became really obvious that all the balancing I do and all the work on my feet, I've created a very stable base um, from the bottom of my legs up. And I, as he works through the muscle fascia and the connective tissue and stretches that out, I can feel how clogged it can get up in that area that I depend on so strongly um, for that stability. So from there, he worked up um, the back of my calf, into the back of my knee, up through my thigh, towards, towards my hips and thought area. Um, that was all really yummy, um, semi-intense, but mostly felt really good. Um, there's definitely some spots when he got up towards my hips that triggered some sensations that he basically was like, well, we'll be back to that at session seven. Can't wait for session seven. All about those deep hips that I need. Um, from there, he had me get up. Once he finished, he made it up to my waist. He had me get up and walk around, see how I felt. Um, I was feeling pretty good in my, in my foot and ankle calf flexibility. I was able to walk around and feel pretty open, although everything felt a 
a bit tender because of how much work we had just done with that. Um, I got back down on the table so that he could finish releasing my back, which had obviously had started to build in tension since he had done a bunch of lower body work. Um, so he went to even it out, did the upper body. Um, my back was, was quite a project. Um, I definitely have a lot of middle back um, tension that I hold there from what I, I don't know how long it's been there from what, but it's very clear to me that that has been affecting um, the strength and flexibility of my back for a while. And so he spent a little time in my mid back there, um, really hammering out those spots. And then he, he went up and continued up to, towards my neck. Um, the end of the session was really, really nice. He did, a, um, I don't know the name of the techniques, but he basically did what I felt like was traction for my neck um, and had me basically had my whole chest angled up with my body weight shoved un up underneath me as I lengthened and straightened out my neck, which really felt amazing. Uh, I really felt an elongation there on my spine. And after the whole session, it was quite a relief. Um, so anyways, I'm excited about this session. It was super intense. I feel like a little sore in places, but overall I could see how I definitely needed some work in those areas and I'm excited that that was just the superficial and now we're about to just go deeper um, in the next 10-ish sessions. So overall I'm pretty excited about it and I can't wait to go back next week um, for my next session and if you guys are interested in following this journey at all with me um, you can go to my website www.lindsayk.com you should be able to find that here somewhere um, at the bottom of the video. And you can subscribe to get updates to when I receive my next treatment and put out another video blog and or blog post about it. Um, just enter your email and you'll automatically be on that list. Otherwise, uh, maybe join my YouTube channel and check back for future updates about my Rolfing experience. Thanks, guys. Have a good day.